when when you hear Houston, you hear mob ties. And some people will say that it's some type of protocol for people to check in when they come to the city. And this and this coming from a person like me and Gil, we ain't never check in when we came to the city. So is there supposed to be a certain protocol for people to check in? No. You know, and I'll begin with me and then he can speak and they can speak for the other generation. But I'm a never you know what I mean? We don't have time for no sucker shit like that. You know, now a lot of people from the different police departments and all these different people want to insinuate like we extorting people. They have to check in. Man, that ain't no money in that shit. I, I wouldn't have. We got, I got more money than I could spend, right? So I don't want to say, go give you. What, that shit ain't going to work. It ain't going to turn out right because... Real niggas ain't gonna have that no way. You know, check in, check in for what? But but on the flip side, there is uh, what you call a, a, a brownie point to be able to have us as friends. You know what I mean? I don't wanna impose or force myself to, to uh, embrace nobody. But by the, by the same token, those that I respect and I befriend, there is a difference coming into the city as our friend versus by yourself. You know what I mean? And the difference is we are respected. You know, we are respected and everybody with us, we're going to demand that they be respected. But it ain't no uh, trying to extort or trying to force. We don't need that. <laughs> That's fake love. All right. We don't want that. Because okay man so that is jay prince talking about the whole rumor about checking in whenever you're in houston you all seen the viral rumor that goes on there whenever you come to houston and if you're a black artist or celebrity actor or whatever that like you gotta check in with the mob ties that was the question that um wallow got for j prince on this particular clip you get what i'm saying so that's j prince letting us know that you know yeah people really check in but indirectly it's letting us know that if you have a affiliation with the mob ties if you are a friend of the mob ties or uh, prince family that you gotta check in you get what i'm saying not just like you know they make everybody check in that you have to be a very important person for you to check in and you have to pay a token so indirectly allegedly that j prince letting us know that the check-in rumor is actually true you get what i'm saying like it's all crazy man because when you think about it you gonna realize that there has been a lot of rumors about this whole situation that goes on in Houston. You get what I'm saying? But right here with Jay Prince, you know, you know, letting us know that, that those rumors are actually indirectly a truth. You get what I'm saying? Like he's letting us know that, you know, that is like the way it goes. You get what I'm saying? Cause I don't know the reason why you have to check in whenever you go to a city and Take off, checked in, and never checked out. To get what I'm saying, and because it seemed like, and why is it that a high percentage of things that take place that might go wrong in this city, why is mob ties and rap a lot always blamed? Man, you know, all of my life, damn near in this game, that been the case. You know what I mean? It's almost like I, I view. Um, I view our, bland, our, our brand like a, a Nike brand in the streets. You know, everybody wear it, you know what I mean? Because uh, it's something proud to, to wear and feel good about. But, you know, all of those everybody's, and I've and I done a post say everybody with us ain't one of us. You know what I mean? Everybody wear that hat, wear that attire. You know, don't, you can't give them to me. You know, you can't give all these people that wear Nike and, and may go shoot up, bang, bang, or whatever in, in Nike attire. Y'all don't try to give it to Phil Knight, whatever that dude name. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So don't don't try to give me that shit, but they do. You know what I mean? And uh, I learned to accept the things that I can't change, change the things that I can, and have the wisdom to know the difference. You know what I mean? Because, you know, with us, 
and with the success that we have attained for so many years brings about uh, a certain jealousy and envy and all that kind of shit with it, man, until, you know, it's uh, like a snowball effect where you really can't stop it. Okay, man. So, J Prince answered the question of, you know, why is he there? Whatever that happened to Houston, that, you know, he's always getting blamed and Moktaz is always getting blamed whenever a rapper gets killed in Houston. We had a situation of Duke the Jeweler. We had a situation of Takeoff and so many other situations, man. You know, why is he there? Moktaz is always affiliated. Or all these things that goes on in Houston get what i'm saying so he's answering the question letting us know there's envy you know there's people that envy you know the mob ties and all that stuff that they had nothing to do about it but you know it's all crazy man because thinking about the whole you know thing that he said you are going to understand that you know this man is actually logical with his questions you get what i'm saying in my own opinion He's actually logical with his questions and uh, he's letting us know that you can't really blame him for everything because, you know, that comes with the success when you're successful or whatever. But, you know, that is not the situation we take off anyways. You get what I'm saying? That is not the situation we take off anyways because if you tell me the, the take off situation, you're not supposed to blame these people, you know, you lie, man. You lie and the truth is not in you. You get what I'm saying? You're lying and the truth is not in you. You get what I'm saying? And uh, I'll, I'll help you all to really understand this whole thing, man. Listen up. The reason why, you know, Wallow was asking him this question is to really understand, you know, because Wallow has been hearing a lot of things from the street. You get what I'm saying? Wallow has been hearing a lot of things from the street. That's why Wallow decided to ask him the question. The reason why is because his son, Junior, and the other goons that are affiliated with the mob ties, these boys are out here in the street, you know, representing the street. You get what I'm saying? With all that violence talk and all that violence rap, letting us know that, you know, they the mob ties, they rule, they do this and they do that. All that crazy talking makes people and makes the world on the street to say that these people are really you know irresponsible of everything that goes on in the street because you know some of his boys actually generalize the whole situation that goes on in the street and make it personal and be like okay cool we did this and we did that so every other thing that has to do with stuff that happens in houston they have to blame them as well you get what i'm saying and it's all crazy at the end of the day man but the crazy situation is that you know they're never going to admit that you know they have to restructure their brand and what they represent you get what i'm saying but you all let me know what you all think under the comment section remember this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is allegedly catch you guys later